Hey there everybody, welcome back. I am the Gerbil, and I do not normally do Galactic Challenge videos, they're just not really my thing. I generally am not the greatest at them. If you want more in-depth, better Galactic Challenge videos, check out my friend Scribe or my other friend Bit Dynasty's channel. But I am an expert on Ewoks. I know these fellas. So every time we get a Galactic Challenge with Ewoks, mmm. I'm your man. So I'm going to show you a couple battles here. I'm going to show you a solo with Poplu, full squad with Poplu lead. Yes, I know he does not have a leadership ability, but he does not care. He's your leader for this event. I'll also show you two battles. Uh, I think two battles? One or two battles to get the other ones. The opportunistic uh, advance, which you got to attack out of turn 20 times, and the unguarded win without a tank, because Poplu's a tank. And you cannot do this with Ewoks, I believe, without a tank. Now, caveat. Before we get started, my guys and uh, my, my bears and my characters are high relic. In fact, my Ewoks are relic 9. My Poplu is only a 7. I know it's sad. Uh, you do not need high relics for this. In fact, I'm relatively confident you can beat this with Poplu with gear 12. I am not saying it's going to be easy. In fact, it may be downright maddening, frustratingly hard. But I am confident it is doable because I have seen it done a few times by other people following the strategy. So here's the strategy. You want low, de you want high defense, sorry, super high defense. So strip off any health mods you have, strip off any speed mods, put as much defense as possible. Secondly, you want low health very low health. You're going to get a lot of damage over time, so you're going to get a lot of uh, thermal detonators. Those are both health-based effects. The more health you have, the more damage you take. So reduce your health pool so you take less damage. Next, you want high protection. The protection, uh, Poplu's protection recovery is intense. So as much protection as you can recover, you will avoid the low damage Boombas from the low health. You want low speed because you do not want to take turns. The more turns you take, the more, uh, the faster you will accumulate things. You want the Jawas taking turns so they die. And finally, you want a crit avoidance arrow because thermal detonators, when they go boom, they do damage based on your own critical chance rate. So, Poplu has a pretty low crit chance rate, put on a critical avoidance arrow on him, and he will basically never be critically hit. Well, he will be, but not as much. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. First video, Poplu solo. So here we are, tier 10. Here's my stats. You can see, whoop, other arm. Nope, they're right here. Here's my stats. So you can see at Relic 7, I got 68,000 health, 101,000 protection. Very low speed, under 200. Now, the trick, the strategy is pretty straightforward. Basic. Basic, basic, basic. If you get, um, like, if Poplu gets trapped under the healing immunity, which will happen eventually, that is when you use his second special. Because the second special will cleanse off all the debuffs on him. Like, right there, I got it. But wait, I am in no danger yet. I'm no danger, so I'm not going to use it yet. Uh, now I'm in danger, so I use it get my defense up again and now you see Poplu healing why does he heal anytime he gains a status effect positive or negative buff or debuff it doesn't matter he recovers five percent health and five percent protection so as the jawas are debuffing him as he gains damage over time as he gains thermal detonators he actually heals which is great you just gotta not take turns and use his second special to cleanse off the healing immunity and it's done it's over now the first special will give him taunt which is you know it's a healing ability i think technically i don't recall i think maybe it even puts him into into stealth which strips the stealth and gives him taunt which would be 10 percent healing and health i don't remember maybe that's just a wicked poplu thing but yeah that's it folks basic 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 all right let's look at the next one full squad of Ewoks. And again, my apologies. I know I have Relic 9 Murder Bears. They're my passion squad. Leave me alone. Uh, how does this work with a full squad? Same as it did with Poplu Solo, except I did not remod him here. So I have high speed, which is why he went first. And I have very high health, which is a danger. This is a big, bad danger. It, the strategy, though, is the same. 
avoid speed. Avoid anything that gives you speed. Do not daze the Jawas with law grade. Do not do the, the hypnotic visions to give it or whatever to give everyone 20% turn meter. Do not do not use Chirpa's mass assist. Do not put Chirpa or Tebow in leadership positions. You want as slow as possible. So basic as much as you can. You can get attacks out of turn by uh, Chirpa healing, which will give retribution to the squad. So you'll get attacks out of turn. That'll give you the, the attack out of turn feat. So that's great. You don't even have to worry about assists. You're just basic and retribute, right? Um, you can use wicket to call ewok elder or poplu i would call poplu though to assist so that he gains the stealth dispels it gains the taunt recovers 10 percent of both um and then use ewok elder to cleanse the the damage over times so you cannot get rid of the thermal detonators but you can cleanse the damage over times uh, and then of course use poplu to basic to remove defense up on targets of opportunity. So here we go. We're going to heal everybody. We're going to basic. Uh, and that's that's it. Just rinse and repeat. Heal, basic, retribute. Heal, basic, retribute. Heal, basic, retribute. Eventually, the Jawas will accumulate enough damage over times that they will succumb to the event modifier and go boom on their own. And see, I'm using Ewok Elder over there to revive my team as much as possible. I'm actually hoping to get through this with my whole squad alive. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. It, it ends up basically the same way as it does with a Poplu solo, which is so ironic. Uh, see there, we've lost... Who did we lose? We lost Chirpa. We lost Wicked. We lost everybody. But, ooh, the tank is surviving with the defense up. It's getting a little scary, but the Jawas do fall down in the end. There we go. Nice try. Good job. All right. Uh, next video. And actually, this is... Oh no, I got two more. So this is the no tanks uh, with a GL. My GL that I'm using here is Kenobi because you start with tenacity up. You can insta-kill Jawa Scavenger who will prevent the thermal detonator accumulations now using cat. So we just go ahead and execute Scavenger. It's very easy to get assists, so this will just happen naturally as the battle goes on. You really can't help it. Everybody's going to assist. I've got Barris in there because A, she's a healer, and B, she reduces or heals as you take damage. I don't know exactly how the, the kit works. I haven't read it in so long. Uh, I also like uh, Padme over there because Padme is going to give you protection up. So she can cleanse off the damage over time, give you protection up to help absorb the thermal detonators that you're accumulating, which I thought I got rid of Scavenger, but somehow we still have a bunch of thermal detonators. Maybe it's, maybe it doesn't matter. Event modifier, maybe it just comes in. Doesn't really matter in the end. So you can see we got rid of Nebit, we got rid of Scavenger. Now we are just surviving and waiting for the event modifier to take out the other Jawas. And of course, whenever we can, we are killing them using Cat and Kenobi because Kenobi is going to apply healing immunity right there, which is great. That way you can actually kill the Jawas because otherwise they recover all their health and protection when the thermal detonators and stuff go boom. So Kenobi stops that. Man, look at all the dodges. It's crazy. And there goes one. And here we go. We're going to get another big assist from the whole team and die there we go just like that cool now the last one again you're probably gonna be like but gerbil i don't have reva doesn't matter reva doesn't give you any of the feats here i just thought this is comical i thought i would share that reva uh retakes reduced damage from health-based effects so um i actually have this on full automatic you can't see it my my picture's hiding but this is on full auto that's why see there's no buttons down there no buttons Woo! over there no buttons um and and still gonna win right so she takes reduced damage and then the jawas have to kill her three times so i just thought it was kind of funny you just go in full auto you will get i guess you do get the the win um that one of the 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 feats is win right i don't remember didn't even read them i guess should have read them but anyway there we go so reva falls down once my reva is r7 so i guess if you just want to get some points just want to get a basic win and you have Reva, just throw her in, hit auto, and enjoy. All right, folks, thanks for watching. You know the drill. If any of this was helpful, please like, sub, and say hello in the comments, and I'll be happy. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.